Hey, Zach Ryder. This is Chris Neves, a.k.a. The Dream, a.k.a. 007, a.k.a. The Neves Master, The Dreamster, The Chris Man. Anyway, brother, nice to meet you. I want to let you know a little bit about myself. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm 37 years old. I was born 12981. I was born with CP, but I didn't let that stop me. I was raised by grandparents. I come from a big family. The parents weren't that good. You know, I'm struggling right now, but I still got a smile on my face. I'm a student, and I work once a week at the movie theater. And one thing that always made me happy was TV. You know, I never walked in my life, but I always had that escape by the magic box. I grew up watching Thundercats, Ninja Turtles. I love superheroes and, of course, wrestling. And I loved video games, and I still do. I just wanted to tell you if, if you can help me because I, lo- I love Hasbro's, and I'm, I'm missing several. I'm missing, like, the Road Warriors. I'm missing the Hacksaw Jim Duggan with the shirt. I'm missing the Nasty Boys. I'm missing the Legion of Doom. I'm missing Evil Crush. I'm missing uh, Smoking Guns. Um, I'm missing Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I'm missing... Texas Tornado. I'm missing the blue Mr. Perfect. I'm missing the Bret Hart with the with the silver glasses. I'm missing Owen Hart. I'm missing Skinner. I'm missing Papa Shango. I'm missing the Earthquake, which that really bothers me. I'm missing the Honky Tonk Man. I'm missing Andre the Giant, Bam Bam Bigelow, um, Ric Flair, Kamala, Tito Santana, and um, I think Axe, and um, Colonel Mustafa. I just want to say that what drew me to action fail because once I reached a certain age, like 9 or 10, I stopped playing with toys, which I went back and started collecting Masters of the Universe and stuff. But once I reached junior high school age, I was just into wrestling and the video games. But something drew me back. Something drew me back, and that was the Hasbro's because... If you go back to uh, WrestleMania 10, and the Hasbro booth when they showed the the weekend that the weekend that was of WrestleMania 10, when they showed the recap of of FanFest, look very closely at the glass. It showed every Hasbro ever made. And I would love to have that. Or at least close. I don't care about the repaints. I just want guys that I don't have. Well, I kind of do. Because, like, I want the other beefcake that was made in 92. And IRS, of course. I don't have IRS. Um... I just want to say that I wish you could have me on your show. I wish you could come to Staten Island. I I live by the water in Bay Street. One of I know one of the workers in WWE. Her name is Karen. And um it would be nice if um her name is Karen Straylet. It would be nice Straylek. It would be nice if if I could meet you and, and, and Kurt Hawkins. I was at an event where Kurt Hawkins wrestled. 
It was an event where Goldberg was a couple of years ago in the, the Old Street Stadium, which is now um, City Field. So I love Hasbro's. I love the commercials. So close to the real thing. It's like being in the ring. <laughs> You know, stuff like that. And I like... Oh, and I'm missing the purple ultimate warrior. So, and Bam Bam Bigelow. And the British Bulldog. I have uh, Undertaker Mint on card, but it's not the one with the jacket. And I would really like the one with the jacket. I wanted to know if you could get me some two-ups. The Tugboat and the Hulk Hogan because Hulk Hogan's my greatest superhero ever. I got to meet him a couple years ago. You know, it's a tragedy. We're losing so many legends. We lost um, Pedro Morales the other day. And um, I was so grateful to meet Hulk Hogan because I, I, I've been through so many stuff growing up. And so many tragedies that, and dealing with my disability, that the one thing that would make me feel good was to meet my childhood hero. Because, you know, when I lay to rest and God takes me, at least I could say I met my childhood hero. Not too many people can say that, but I, I always loved Hogan. I wish. He would have always stayed in WWE and be the main man and be the Babe Ruth. There was a lot of things in 94, 95 that I wish he was a part of. I wish he was part of WrestleMania 10. But I love figures as much as you guys. I love Hasbro's. I live for Hasbro's. I wish you guys could call me Mr. Hasbro. And I wanted to know if you guys could reach out to me. I would really like it. Thank you.